Hi y'all. Um, I just want to say that I started editing this video yesterday and then didn't get around to finishing it because I had to go to my grandma's for a birthday dinner and <laughs> I got up this morning to work on it and then my kids woke up and then this day was just the most Mondayest Monday there ever was. Like, so rough. <laughs> uh, apparently, I don't know how to Monday. I don't know. But anyways, um, this is being uploaded, I'm pretty sure, super early on Tuesday. Just because I didn't get it done on Monday. Yeah, it's a get it all done, not on the day that it's supposed to happen. It's fine. How about some Tuesday motivation? Uh, this morning I woke up and I, um, I got, got breakfast ready. I loaded the dishwasher and then I went into the bathroom and took a shower and got myself ready. And I put on some mascara and then I realized that I forgot to put on like face lotion. But whenever I realized that I forgot to put on face lotion, I had already forgotten that I put on mascara. So then I like rubbed lotion all over my mascara and had to redo both of them. So that was, you know, like a solid way to start off my Monday. And then um, I work as an accountant at a law firm and we had a client come in and I could not math to save my life. Um, I actually have a math degree. I'm really good at math, but like literally I just could not math. Like I could not do any kind of mathematical anything. It was terrible. It was just not good. And then, yeah, I was trying to transfer video from my phone to my computer and I had to leave my phone at home all day, not all day, all morning. And, um, so then I had to come home for lunch and, um, that was okay because I honestly had forgotten to start dinner, which needed to be in the crock pot, but you know, didn't do that. So started dinner at lunchtime, which was fine. It was done by the time I got home. Uh, but yeah, it was just a very Monday -y Monday. You're about to watch me do like 12,000 loads of dishes because... <laughs> That apparently that's all I could accomplish in these few days that I recorded this. Um, didn't fold any of my laundry. In fact, I've run the clothes that are sitting in my washing machine three times because I keep forgetting to switch the laundry. So, yeah, I'm I'm basically over here crushing it. Um, my house is very lived in, even though my house was kind of clean. At the end of the weekend um, it is you know late on Monday and uh, yeah it is not even kind of clean at this point I don't <sighs> is, is it even necessary to clean your house like can can you just not clean your house and because it's gonna look the same either way I mean does it even matter <laughs> if I didn't clean my house it would literally, like, our whole floor would just be covered in dog hair. Our lab, who is um, large and hairy, she sheds so much. Like, I... Uh, labs. I love them. They're great dogs. They're great family dogs. But they are so dang hairy. Like, I just... If I didn't clean my house, the floors would just be like a, a mountain of hair. And see, whenever I move my furniture, there's just piles of hair under everything. And that's even with like running our Roomba 50% of days. Well, it just, there's just so much hair and it picks up the hair on like the main part of the floor, but not, you know, underneath our couches and stuff. And then like, it doesn't always get wherever like our bar stools are. It doesn't get underneath those, so we have to, like, rotate whether they're up against the bar or not against the bar. <sighs> Under our kitchen table, there's usually, like, a mountain of hair. Just so much dog hair. I, 
I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe I could not clean my house if I didn't have any pets or children. I don't know. So you are going to see me cleaning my cast iron skillet, or actually you've already seen me clean my cast iron skillet. Um, you do not clean cast iron with soap, if you didn't already know that. Uh, you just scrub it. I just use like a steel wool and scrub it down so that like I made steak in that so there was some like crusty pieces on the bottom of it. I just scrub those off with some steel wool and then... Um, you know, if it looks like it needs to be reseasoned, I'll throw it back in the oven with some oil on it. But that time it looked fine, so I didn't. Uh, but yeah, you do not wash cast iron with soap. And uh, I cleaned this kitchen so many times this week, like full on cleaned it. But I also made like, I don't know, six loaves of bread this week, so... Uh, yeah, I experimented with some bread loaves and some of them turned out really good. One of them turned out just kind of meh. So I'll be sharing those recipes with you guys soon. Also this weekend I made, um, like three soups for dinner on Saturday, which the intention was I would make three soups and then that would, that's our lunch all this week. Like that's, that's what we're having for lunch. And so that's why I made three different soups. So that nobody has to eat the same soup every day for five days. Like, that's just boring. So, anyways, I made three pots of soup. And so I'm going to share that in a video. So, yeah. And then this week, I'm super excited. It's corned beef week. And I'm going to make a whole bunch of corned beef recipes. Um, I, corned beef is probably one of my favorite foods. Like, I know that just... I, we don't even eat it that frequently, but whenever we do eat it, I just am so excited. And so is my husband. My husband loves corned beef. When I was younger, I used to ask for either Thanksgiving or corned beef for my birthday dinners. Um, yeah, I could, I could put down some corned beef as a child. I mean, I could still put down some corned beef as an adult, but uh, it was, I find it very impressive how much corned beef I could eat as a kid. Um... It's, it's delightful. And if you don't like it, I feel sorry for you because it is. It's seriously one of my favorite foods. Usually right around St. Patrick's Day, I go to the store and buy like five corned beefs. And then I'll make like two of them and we'll eat on those for a couple of days. And then in a couple of months, I'll cook, you know, like two more. And then later in the year, I'll cook, you know, the last one. And so we try to, you know, eat it more than just... On your standard St. Patrick's Day dinner, but we always eat it right around St. Patrick's Day. So, um, I actually just used up my last little bottle of um, Grove Co. Uh, cleaning concentrate, so I'm going to have to put in a um, order. Uh, I was considering sharing like my Grove haul, even though I'm not an affiliate or will probably not get any kind of sponsorship from Grove anytime soon because I'm too small, apparently, which makes me sad. Um, but if you guys would be interested, I will share what I buy from Grove. I actually have quite a few things from Grove. I really enjoy their products. Um, it's just, they're, they're good, sustainable products. Their, their cleaning supplies are like naturally non-toxic whatever. Um, so if you guys are interested, leave me a comment down below and I'll try to do that next time I order. Um, also, I guess since I'm talking about leaving me a comment, might as well go ahead and say it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm really <laughs> trying hard to, uh, grow my channel. Growth has been very slow. Um, so if you could uh, subscribe, hit the like button so that maybe YouTube might decide to share my video with other people. The more interaction I get on my video, the more likely they are to do that. Um, yeah. So anyways, subscribe, like, leave me a comment. That'd be cool. Also, I have been considering doing a Q&A episode. So um, if you have any questions, you can always leave them down in the comments. I respond to every single comment. 
Um, so I will definitely see it. So yeah, if you, um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll, I'll get to work on a Q and A video. Um, I recognize that a lot of the people that watch these videos are my relatives, so they probably know most things, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, you can always leave them down in the comments. Um, <laughs> here in just a second, I'm going to show you, we regularly just buy like Folgers or sometimes whenever we can't afford Folgers, we buy like always safe coffee or Aldi's brand coffee. Um, but I always try to keep a, um, little package of flavored coffee in our freezer for, you know, like as a treat kind of like we just, it's nice to every once in a while, like once a week we'll make a pot of flavored coffee and it is lovely. So our favorite is actually Cameron's coffee. Um, I think it's a Seattle brand, but it's, we really like their salted caramel and then their Highland, I think it's called Highlanders Grog or something. And it's a butterscotch rum. Oh, so good. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like vanilla bean or vanilla flavored coffee. That's not, that's not really my kind of thing, but like caramel or butterscotch, those. Um, actually, I think Folgers makes one that's called caramel drizzle. That one's really good too, but I have a hard time finding that one. So I just try to, the Cameron's kind is always pretty easy to find. Walmart has it. They don't always have like the, the Folgers, I don't know what they're called, Folgers Deluxe or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, so that's like a little way we like to treat ourselves. It's, you know, cheaper than going out and buying a steak dinner. It's like, six dollars for a little pouch of coffee and it makes you know like 12 pots of coffee or something so just little little ways to find joy in the day um once we get to the new day of cleaning my kitchen you can see that i'm making um more bread so there's that i didn't share very much from saturday just because I was at home by myself watching my kids and trying to make dinner and other various things. So on uh, Sunday, my kitchen is a mess because after watching kids all day by myself and um, cooking a lot of food, I did not, I just did not feel like doing the dishes. I just wanted to sit down and relax for a little bit. So usually like once a week I will have a day where I've cooked and I just don't, I just want to relax and I let it be and I catch up on the next day or something. I don't know, but it's sometimes you got to learn to let it go. Has anyone out there completed their taxes? Cause I have not. I keep thinking about it. I really need to do my taxes. Have not done them. We've got business tax returns we need to do before we can do our individual tax returns. Uh, I don't even know. I don't know when I'm going to find the time to do that, but I guess I will. I'll find the time somewhere. On uh, Sunday, you will see that my um, oldest son picked out clothes for my kids, and he picked out swim trunks. So my kids are running around the house in March wearing swim trunks, and cowboy boots and mud boots so you know just uh everyone over in this household looking classy something else that happened this weekend um which is not relevant to what you're watching right this second but it's relevant to later in this video my dang bistle cross wave is leaking and it's not the water tank it is something inside of the actual machine my husband was able to find where it's leaking he's but he couldn't figure out how to fix it so I just have to take off my fresh water tank anytime that I'm not using it otherwise there's literally a puddle of water on the floor and later much later in this video the last little section actually me cleaning our um, main bathroom 
which is so tiny and it's so awkward to film that, but I feel like I need to film more than just my kitchen and living room. Um, so anyways, I was cleaning that and, uh, I had left the fresh water tank in it and I knew it was leaking a little bit, but I just thought that was like maybe, you know, residual water that was sitting in the roller or something. <sighs> Anyways, I like for 30 minutes I was cleaning. It was not 30 minutes, like 15 minutes I was cleaning in the bathroom and I came back out and just there was a whole pile of water on the floor. And that's when my video ended because my floor was just covered in water. Luckily, it's a vacuum mop, so I was able to just suck up most of that water, but wasted a um, not small amount of my Grove Collaborative floor cleaner. So, yeah, great things happening over here. Um, you are going to see me also making some bread in this video. Um, you're also going to see me measure out some flour and then get distracted by my husband who started talking to me. And then I'm going to have to dump out the flour and then put it back into the pots. Anyways, um, I will share this recipe. It's just a super simple, no need Dutch oven recipe. Like as long as you have a Dutch oven, you can make this bread. It is seriously so simple. You just have to have time. Probably takes a total of like three hours to make, but it takes like 15 minutes of your actual time. And that's like, maybe, maybe it takes 15 minutes it's super simple. So anyways, anybody can make this bread. I will share the recipe with you. Don't try to figure out what I'm making here without the recipe. Um, but yeah, I, I will share that with you guys eventually. Uh, I actually just made one that was a jalapeno cheddar bread. My husband is like, yeah, you need to make sure we have this all the time. And it's, it's interesting because honestly, for the last year, probably, I think a little bit longer than a year, we haven't even hardly eaten bread. Like we just, we haven't eaten bread just mostly because of gluten and carbs and stuff. But I don't know. I've been craving bread recently. So I was like, whatever, I'm going to make some bread. Right. I feel like I have been rambling on long enough. So I'm going to play a couple of songs. Like I said before, if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and uh, leave me a comment down below.
thought I'd leave in that little section of my kids trying to clean my floor, or one of my kids trying to clean my floor, and the other one playing in the dirt. Also, you can fully see their swim trunks. So, yeah. March and swim trunks. They're ready for summer too. Also, I don't watch a ton of TV, but um, is anybody else watching The Dropout on Hulu? Because I have been following the Elizabeth Holmes case for a while, like a while, I don't know, when the episode came out on like 2020 or 48 hours or Dateline, I don't know, but um, I've been watching, you know, her stuff for a while and I just found her so intriguing, like some weird Bernie Madoff young female person, I don't know, but I... I can't, I don't even understand people who like scam other people. Like that's not something. And I don't know that she was intending to scam people. I think she honestly had good intentions at the beginning of it and things weren't just working out and she didn't want to come out and say like, I am not coming up with the answers as fast as I would like to. She would just played it off. And I think she's very smart. I just don't. I, I don't even understand how people can figure out how to scam other people because I, like, I hear about how somebody's scammed somebody and I'm like, what? Like, how did they even think of that? So anyways, I don't, I don't understand it, but I find it very intriguing. Um, I found Bernie Madoff very intriguing. So anyways, I just, is anybody else watching that? I, I find it very interesting. Um... Also, is anybody else watching How I Met Your Father? Because one, Hilary Duff, like that's all, all of the nostalgia, but also two, it's very similar to How I Met Your Mother, but also slightly different. So anyways, I'm, I'm enjoying it. If it, it's a little bit cheesy, but I mean, so is How I Met Your Mother. I, but I love How I Met Your Mother. We're actually rewatching that right now as well. Um, and also I just watched my very first episodes of my 600 pound life or whatever it is. Um, that's one, the surgical procedures. I, oh, blood and guts. So gross. I was not made to be a nurse. The second my kids get some kind of disgusting gash, ugh, that'll be the end of it. I cannot, I do not handle things that are bloody. I, I don't. I cannot, well, it grosses me out. My husband will come home and be like, oh, look at this nasty cut I got. And I'll just be like, get it away from me. I don't want to see it. It will make me puke. <laughs> I, I do not handle, I can handle throw up. I can handle throw up. The grossest dirty divers you ever saw. But the second there's like a gash, I'm, it, I am instantly queasy. I don't know what it is. I, it grosses me out. I could, I could never be a doctor. I could never, I could definitely never be a surgeon, but I could never be a doctor. Anyways, on the other side of that, some of the episodes make me kind of sad because I think, like, I don't know. I think it's, I think those people deserve more support than they're getting from their families. Like that's what I find hardest is their families. Not all of them. Some of their families are great. Some of the families are very supportive, but then there's also, you know, some families that are not supportive and it makes me, it makes me sad for them like that they can't support their loved ones in trying to make themselves better. So anyways, I've been watching that. I, I don't watch a ton of TV, but yeah, we were, we were watching that. I don't know what's on TV right this second. Probably, probably the Dateline episode of the Elizabeth Holmes <laughs> thing. Um, yeah. And they, they are literally talking about, um, the new episode that came or the new show that came out on Hulu, um, and how they do, a good job portraying the, the, what actually happened, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I, 
yeah, we watched that. We've been watching the actual Hulu episodes. Well, I say that. We watched one episode, and then I started to watch another episode, and then our kids were, like, throwing a fit and crying and stuff, so I had to uh, turn it off and put on something else that I didn't have to pay attention to because kids. Other than those few shows, pretty much all we watch is uh, Monster Trucks because my oldest kid is obsessed with that movie, and that's what he wants to watch all the time. Or Curious George or Coco Melon. Those are his shows. Those are the things he likes to watch. Monster Trucks, Curious George, and Coco Melon. At least Monster Truck is not m- mind-numbing, so I guess I can't complain too much. If you missed it earlier, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and uh, leave me a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it.
that is all I have for you today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your week. Um, and I will catch you next time. Bye, y'all.